What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill back with another video. Something a little different today. Uh, this is how to always stay in key when you're making a beat. There's two different ways you can do it in Logic. It's super easy. The first way, it's the way I like to do it. And you go to the transposer. You just pull that up. It's simple. You literally select your key. Say you want to be in, uh, let's do some D minor blues. All right. It highlights the keys that you in. So you got C, D, F, G, A, G sharp, and that's it. So literally, you hear C, you hear D. If I try to play a C sharp, it won't let me play it. It'll just play a C. So it always keeps you in key. So. So whatever you playing is in key. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that back at C major. All right. And then I'm going to show you how the second way you can stay in key. So we're going to go ahead and cut to the screen. All right, so the second way that you can always make sure you stay in key while you're making the beat in Logic is you go ahead and create an empty MIDI region. All I did was right click and then create empty MIDI region. I'm gonna drag it out four bars, double click it, pull it up on piano roll. And if you look that right here, <clears throat> if you look down right here, you got scale quantized. So I'm gonna just pick D minor. Uh, and if you pick the brush tool, every note that's in the key of D minor can be placed. If it's not in the key, it won't let you put it there. So that's literally it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're having trouble making your chord progressions and you can't stay in key, you don't know music theory, go ahead and scale quantize it or either transpose it and put it in the key. If you're playing with a keyboard, you transpose it. If you're trying to draw the notes in like the FL Studio way, you just go ahead and uh, you just put it in there. I'm gonna have beat making videos coming for y'all real soon. I just wanted to, you know, drop this quick help video for y'all real quick, keeping it real short. So that's pretty much it. Y'all go try it. Y'all let me know how that work out for y'all in the comments. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. New video coming soon.